Are you a fellow bibliophile on a budget? Stay tuned to see how you can take your reading game to the next level for free this season. Hello everyone, my name is Misty Nicole with LadyPreferstoSave.com and welcome back to my channel. Today I am sharing the Facebook Live that I had from this week's broadcast all about how you can be a bibliophile on a budget, all about free reading resources for you and your family to up your reading game this season. I am going to turn over now to my Facebook Live broadcast. Hello everyone, my name is Misty Nicole with LadyPreferstoSave.com and welcome to another Wednesday Ways to Save. And today's broadcast is all about reading and places that you can find free books to read this season. And to start, I want to explain a little bit about why reading is so fundamental and important to me. I am the wife of a public educator and my mother-in-law is a dean of students at one of the state universities in Montana. My grandmother was the first in her family to receive both her BA and her MBA in finance, and so it runs in my blood. I'm also a three-time degree recipient myself, and so education, in particular reading, is something that is so vital to me. I also grew up being a voracious reader. It was something that I took great pride in, and a lot of characters in literature were, in my opinion, some of my greatest friends. I can not tell you the times that I have read and reread the many works of Charles Dickens and Victor Hugo and Jane Austen, and they still remain some of my favorite, favorite friends and characters and genres to read. Beyond that, I'm also a digital entrepreneur and a blog runner and business owner, and so I find that reading helps to take my business endeavors to the next level, especially on the site and the media channels such as you're watching. For me, I've often thought that if you want to be a baller, you have to start by being a bibliophile first. Besides the general endeavors you may think that the very rich entertain in. Consider this. Besides Bill Gates, which we all know is a, is a great reader, there are big time bookworms including Oprah and President Obama and Mark Cuban, Nike founder Phil Knight, and Cavalier owner Dan Gilbert. There's also Warren Buffett, who in his heyday of starting his empire in finance would read anywhere from 600 to 1,000 pages a today. He even states that 80% of his time in retirement is spent reading. Which leads me to the idea that overall, developing the habit of making daily and devoted time to reading is vital to your business and in your endeavors. But if you're someone like me who is in a no spend challenge or someone who just really wants to bypass the heavy price tag in most booksellers, you are still in luck because there are so many free resources out there to find reading material. And here's a list of some of my favorite ways that you can be a bibliophile while being on a budget. First of which is Google eBookstore. In the free section of Google Bookstore, you'll find a ton of free books from a variety of genres. You can find bestsellers, favorite classics and more books available in several formats, and you can also check out ratings and reviews from other users. Be sure to check out on the site free top books that are updated each Wednesday on the site and give you a sample of other freebies to come, making sure to sign up for their emails, particularly for their books, so that you stay tuned to all the new releases and dates. Another site that I really like is projectgutenberg.org. It has a collection of over 45,000 free ebooks and it is a volunteer effort to create and share ebooks online. There's no registration fee to join the site that is required, and books are available in EPUB, Kindle, HTML, and other formats. Also, check out Open Library, which hosts more than a million free books daily. It's a library catalog that is run by Internet Archive, which allows users to contribute their own ebooks as well. You can easily search by title, author, and subject. 
And speaking of Internet Archive, if you're looking for out of print books or print in different languages and formats, check out this nonprofit digital library at internetarchive.org. It is a great go to, especially if you are looking for historical books, historical romance, and academic books as well. Also, check out bookboon.com, especially if you are looking for particularly educational textbooks or business titles. This is a great resource for you, and they may have what you're looking for as the site offers more than a thousand free ebooks. It's very easy to navigate, and best of all, you do not have to register to download from the site. Also, check out manybooks.net. They offer close to 30,000 free ebooks browsable by title, recent review, authors, genre, language, and more. The books are available for Kindle, for Nook, iPads, and most e readers. If you are a fan of audiobooks, such as I am, definitely check out LibriVox.com. It is available as both a browser and an app feature. It offers free audiobooks, including many, many classics and out of print books. It's something that my family really enjoys and it's a great way to help the kiddos get to sleep. And if you're looking for something holiday themed, plan audiobooks and classic audiobooks, for example, based on holidays such as Christmas, Halloween, etc. And that gives you a little extra activity and more bang for your buck during the holiday season at home. If you're anything like me, you may also have a huge stack of books that you constantly have to find something to do with. And if that is you, consider swapping your books out online. This is a great way for you to connect with other readers, to part with books that you don't need, and also to pick up some books that you may have been wanting to read for free. Some of my favorite sites for book swaps are bookmooch.com, paperbackswap.com, and whatsonmybookshelf.com. These services typically have a wide selection, but remember that there is a scarcity issue in dealing with the site. So as it is a first-come, first-served basis, if it's something that you are really interested in or a particular title, definitely swoop that up. And also, as you are sending books to other people, please be diligent in sending those books because as a reader, you are probably really anxious to get that book in your hand, so be considerate to others when using those sites. Also, an oldie but a goodie, of course, is Amazon.com. This is the book giant, especially for e-readers, and if you are looking for cheap reads, especially during summer travel with the family, definitely go to amazon.com slash books and check out their top rated free e-books. On the left-hand side of the page, you'll be able to explore free offerings by genre. Also, each Friday, there are new classic books uploaded to the site, and if you are an Amazon Prime member, you get additional freebies, including first reads of the month, newly released books. You also have the ability to allow others to borrow from your personal library, as well as free offerings from audible.com as a Prime member. If you are not a Prime member, you can check out the service for free, and I will leave a link below where you can check out that service as well as audible.com. Also, speaking of booksellers, definitely check out Barnes & Noble where you can go to their ebook section and find tons and tons of free ebooks. They upload new titles each Wednesday of the month. If you are a Kobo ebook subscriber, definitely check out their site at Kobo.com. They upload new releases on Tuesday and Thursday each week at 12 o'clock Eastern Central Time, and there are tons and tons of books, particularly children's books, that you can pick up for free and download to your device. Also, remembering Google Play again, Specific to their app, you can check out the children's book section, which is updated each Friday. They also have a great selection of learning and reading apps that you may want to check out, particularly by grade level, including summer reading and enrichment programs and Newberry Medal winners. There are often a lot of those books uploaded specifically to the app that differ from their website, so that is another resource for you. Also check out manybooks.com as they often offer discounted and free ebooks with more than 33,000 free titles available. There's some overlap with Project Gutenberg offerings, but the generally arguable notion is that the site is a little bit more user-friendly and so you may be able to find some books there as well. 
for all the parents out there and grandparents, especially with summer right around the corner, definitely check out sesamestreet.com. There are tons of free books uploaded each week with new selections listed each Thursday morning at 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time to the site. Also, on Friday afternoons, there are reading enrichment apps, movies, and small audiobooks uploaded to the site that may also be of interest to you that can be downloaded for free, although some of the longer games have to be used as an in-browser experience, but still free for users. If you are a student or a business professional and you are looking for books to ascertain for your particular niche, definitely check out the University of Chicago Press. They have a free ebook section that is updated each Wednesday on the site, and there are a lot of free titles each month that could really help you, especially if you are trying to put an appendix of resources together for, say, an ebook or a scholastic article. Also, in terms of technology, tech out this intechopen.com. They are a great, great resource and are one of the world's largest publishers of free ebooks on science, technology, medicine, including holistic medicine. Its mission is to help academics make a greater impact by giving you free, readable sources of all their published work. It is a great and reputable source. You can also get a lot of free articles that would require payment through a lot of scholastic sources, including the New England Journal of Home Medicine and Johns Hopkins, so it is a great resource if you are looking to stay up to date on new health trends. Also, you can check out each Wednesday where they upload several hundred new articles and books. Currently, their entire collection is over 48,000 scientific works and new titles are uploaded again weekly. Another science and techno-based publication to check out would be O'ReillyMedia.com as it is one of the largest resources for technology-based articles. They also put out a lot of podcasts and tutorials, especially for bloggers and entrepreneurs. Each Wednesday on the site, they put out tutorials on how to do specific things like uploading a podcast or creating free art, and so they have a lot of insider information that you may be able to use. And last but not least is, of course, your local library, which has unlimited resources to help you in so many areas to obtain books and reading information. And with that said, next Wednesday's Ways to Save Live on Facebook will deal with all of the things at your local county library that you may not be able aware of yet, that you will definitely want to check out this summer. And with that said, thank you so much for watching today's broadcast. If you have any questions or is there anything I can help you with in terms of these resources of books, please leave me a comment below. I would love to be able to help you out. And with that said, please be kind to yourself and to others and have a wonderful rest of your day. Thank you for watching.